God bless each and everybody. It is Tuesday, the 5th day of January, or the 4th day, I'm sorry, of January 2022. I was getting ready to say 2021. It's still stuck in my head. I remember in school, after the new year would change, I would consistently write the old year's date, and it would take probably weeks before I would start writing the correct year, because you've been writing that all year. But anyways, it is what it is. I want to talk about something today that this nation, this world in general, is lacking a whole lot of, and that is L-O-V-E, something Jesus tells us that we need to do as followers, as believers, as Christians, but not only that, as human beings. And, and you know, we are lacking so much love towards one another. And this is why we are consistently seeing this hatred and this division in this nation. Um, it goes back to the old um, uh, videos I've done in the past about uh, America throwing God out, turning their backs on God, and allowing this wickedness, this perversion, these abominations to come in. When you throw God out, something's got to take its place, and it's going to be, well, nothing good, I can tell you that. It's going to be something bad, and we do not have the love for one another that we had in the past. We just do not have it like we used to. Um, not that this nation was ever perfect in any way. Of course not. It would be ludicrous for me to make a statement like that. But in general, Americans in general were a God-fearing nation. And therefore, being a God-fearing nation, you had more, let's say, not use the word love so much as, let's say, caring for one another. Uh, but today, we don't have any of that. We do not have any of that. Um, you know, Jesus tells us very plainly in the New Testament that we are to even take care of our enemies, to feed, to clothe them, our enemies. If we're to treat our enemies with compassion, giving them life-sustaining needs, then what... What are you supposed to do with people that are not your enemies? But we don't have that. We have hatred. We have division. As I've said before, Jesus tells us a, a house divided against itself will not stand. America divided against itself will not stand, ladies and gentlemen. And when you don't have love for one another, you don't have respect. You don't care. You don't have any type of of feelings of, of warmth towards others because you have hatred in your heart. And when you have God in your life and you have Christ in your heart, you don't have that. Uh, I'm not trying to make out that every Christian is perfect and nobody gets mad and hates and says, oh, well, I hate this or that. Of course, we're human, of course. But in general speaking, being a Christian, you know, we are to love one another. You know, we are to be uh, uh, caring of one another, pray for one another. Just imagine if this nation turned back to God. Imagine, just let, let's just say 50%. Let's just say 50% turn back to God. Imagine within a year, just one calendar year what could what could actually happen how much God could actually do in one calendar year if 50% turn back to God now I think this nation is somewhere around 18 to 20 percent Christian that considers that calls themselves Christians I'm not talking about people that you know say that they believe in God you know it would be a higher percentage but I'm talking about people that consider themselves Christians. It's a very low percentage uh, in this nation. Imagine if that jumped up to 
just like I said, 50 percent. Imagine what God would do. You know, God tells us that if we humble ourselves, meaning a nation, a people, if they humble themselves and they turn from their wickedness and they repent of their sins, he would heal the nation. He would heal your country. Now, God saying that it's the truth. If this country would turn away from this wickedness that we have today, these perversions, these these abominations that this country now holds up on a pedestal. You know, they, they hold these 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 perversions up in such high esteem and God they push down. Imagine if it was the other way around and we held God up in high esteem. You know, this nation. Imagine the 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 wonders that God could do with America. But ultimately, it's up to us, all of us. We need to get back to where we were as a country um, because I don't see this continuing on at the rate that it's going. The division is so bad right now. You know, everything is split up into groups. It's either divided among race or religion or political affiliation or or you know, something like that is divided. There's everything is groups. And if you don't support that group or this group, or you don't support the way they think or blah, blah, blah. Then of course we know what comes after that. You're a racist. You're a white supremacist. You're a bigot. You're this, you're that. When in reality, the ones that usually call people, those are the ones themselves that are racist bigots because they hate others that don't think or believe the way they do. So it's really truly hypocrisy, you know, on, on, a, on a major scale. But, you know, w- with God, all that stuff is could be removed. I mean, it really could, if you think about it, it could be removed. Just simple love and caring for one another. Is it, is it that hard to do people? I mean, really, is it that hard to love? Remember, we're to be Christ-like. We're not going to be perfect. We will not ever attain what Christ did when he was on this earth. He walked in perfection, but we are to, you know, strive for that. That's what Christ tells us to strive for perfection. We're not going to get there, but we're to strive for it. So imagine if we actually took all of this hatred and all of this division and all of this labeling into groups and all of this political correctness and, and, and all of that and just turned it over to God and just gave it to God. Imagine what the Lord could do in just one calendar year. It would be wonderful. But as I just said, it it's up to us. It's up to America. Ultimately, we have to make the decision to stand with God and love one another or continue down this path that leads to destruction. And make no mistake, folks, that's exactly where this is going to lead to. If this continues going the way it's going, this hate, this anger, and that's another thing I didn't even bring up, you know, this uh, th- this bubbling underneath this current of, of, of anger that's bubbling underneath that's ready to explode at any minute. One more thing, it's just going to pop off. Uh, you know, it's going to explode. You know, God can take all of that like that. But, um, yep, we have to humble ourselves, as it says in the Bible. Um, I believe we can do it. Um, I believe it's going to take a lot of prayer. Um, It's going to take a a lot of faith on our part. And um, we're going to have to unite. But we have to unite not under a political party, not under a group or a banner or some organization. No, we're going to have to unite under God Almighty. And if we do that, he will heal this land, as he says. That's all I have for you today. God bless each and every one of you. 
Um, take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Be safe. Be safe out there with with the the, the virus. Just be use common sense. Pray for one another. And um, I will see you uh, later this week. Take care. Bye-bye.